Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars and today, even though I got my Gibson shirt on, we're going to be working on some super strats. Okay, in the last video, you might remember we fit the neck and we did the neck pickup. Well, today, we're going to wrap for the Floyd Rose and uh, the Floyd Rose recess and also the bridge pickup. So I've already done this one and I'm going to use it as a, sort of a guide to uh, show you what we're fixing to do on um, the second one. Alright, as you can see, this guy here does not have a Floyd Rose route or a neck, I'm sorry, bridge pickup route, but it's gonna, and you and I are going to do it right now. So, um, we're going to be using the Stuart McDonald Floyd Rose templates, and I've got my Floyd in a box over there. That's going to be really handy. If you guys are mounting Floyds, it's going to be super, super helpful to actually have the, um, the assembly so you can kind of look and make sure everything's going the right way. Um, but uh, let me show you some of the other tools that we're going to use. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be using the Stuart McDonald templates and I've got the instruction sheets right over here. Um, one thing that we did was we built this extra piece to go. Uh, it actually fits inside the, um, the, uh, the, the rear route and that will, I'll show you why we did that here in a little bit. Uh, I've got uh, sharp pencil, some calipers, a square, and more importantly an eraser. We're going to be using double stick tape and of course we're going to be using my beloved pin router to do all the heavy lifting. If you don't have a beloved pin router um, and you're not planning on getting one, you can do all the stuff that we're about to do. Uh, the instructions are pretty decent and you can do all that stuff with a regular hand router, but because we have a pin router, well, we're going to use it. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do, according to the instructions, is you have to locate 25 inches from your nut because that's going to be handy for um, installing the uh, template. Um, I also have a line here 25 and a half inches because that's where my intonation point is going to be for this guitar and it's just going to be handy to have that, um, although you don't need to have it, but I do. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to mount one of the, uh, the templates. It's going to be the incise for the top of the Floyd Rose to go in. Now, normally what we'll do on the pin router is we'll put the template on the back because and let the pin follow it. But on this one, we're not. We're actually going to mount the, um, um, the, the template to the top and I'm going to use a pattern bit. Uh, it's just a little bit easier and you can, you know, kind of make sure everything's exactly where you want it to be, not measure and guess. Um, and it'll all be crystal clear here in just a second. So, uh, and that's something that a lot of people may not realize that you don't have to use the pin on the pin router. Um, if you hadn't realized that, I don't know why, but you don't have to use the pin and I'm fixing to show you. So let me get everything all geared up. I'm going to mount my template and uh, get my bit changed out on the pin router and then we're going to make some sawdust. So the first template we're going to use, like I said, is this Floyd Rose front cavity one. And um, we've got our center line on the template and we have this horizontal line uh, will actually be where the 25 inch from the nut area line needs to be. And you'll notice that there's a couple of screw holes there. I'm going to actually mount this with screws and those holes will be the, um, uh, the guide holes for the inserts that are operate the knife edge on the Floyd Rose. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've already got this marked on here. I'm going to go over to my drill press and drill a couple of little holes and we're going to go ahead and screw it down. I'm my own cameraman again. So let's do this. So I'm using a couple of uh, humbucker ring screws to mount this and you know what you don't have to have a drill press to do this portion but if you do it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install these screws here. Make sure our center line is still where it needs to be because we can still change it if we need to. See, our template is securely fastened and uh, we didn't have to use double stick tape. Okay, you will notice that I have a bearing bit that has about a 3 8 cutter on it. This is for doing hinges and uh, in the sides of doors, but it's particularly handy because we are only going through, we only want to go, uh, you know, down to just below this template line here for the first couple passes. Um, so we don't want to have like a super, super long cutting bit with, you know, the, with the, the bearing up here. So this is going to work out great. We're going to eventually go about five eighths deep 
with this original um, or with this first uh, cut and uh, we don't want to go all the way through with this because this is a different size than the uh, than the back template but let's go ahead and take this first one uh, the first cut here and um, we're gonna like I say we're gonna go down to about five eighths Now we're ready to do the rear uh, route for the springs and uh, all that other shit to go. And if you remember from reading your Stuart McDonald router template set Floyd Rose tremolo, the edge of the uh, top route sets the position for the corner of the back route. Um, because we have a pin router, we're going to do it a little bit differently. So I've already attached the template to the top of the guitar. And rather than drill a hole, right here, like Stuart McDonald recommends, so that you can index the top to the back. Um, we already have the top route is already in, so I've just gone ahead and used the same center line and butted it up right against the same corner there, and uh, we'll flip it upside down, and the pin will follow the template, and the cutter will cut on the back. Now, you will notice that I have very cleverly and cunningly attached my template to, with double stick tape to some masking tape that I've attached to my very fragile veneer. The reason I did that was so that when I pull this off, I don't tear a chunk of veneer off with it. I'm also gonna put some masking tape on the bottom of my um, template, which will be riding on the uh, pin router table so I don't get it all scratchy because I want it to look new for a while. Let's check it out. Per the instructions, you want to go 5 eighths of an inch deep right through here. And um, now what we're going to, so we've done that, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece that I was telling you all about and we're going to stick it in the template so that we can just route this portion all the way through. And because I've got tape on top of my template and because this is the same thickness as my template, I'm just going to tape it right to the top. Let's check it out. I say let's check it out a lot. Okay, so we have routed the back. Shut up, I'm making a video. Stop talking about your serial killer stuff. Cutting up people. Okay, so while I've been doing the uh, rear cavity uh, for the Floyd Rose, Chris, Brandon, and Ian have been considering why the uh, Saw movie character didn't use more guitar-specific tools for his various serial killing uh, uh, antics. But, so what I wanted to show you guys was, so we've got five-eighths of an inch deep here where the, where the springs go, and then I've got this area where the claw, or not the claw, but the block protrudes from. And you'll notice, right, let's see. Right, he, yeah, it's backward. This portion right here is about a half inch thick. Let me see if I can get that in the camera. So this, this area right here is about a half of an inch thick. Um, if you were, if you were just gonna go ahead and top mount your Floyd, that would probably need to come down a little bit more, but because we're going to recess the back area and the front area and have our Floyd be recessed, I need to leave a little bit of material there so that I have something. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to drill the holes for the um, Floyd mounting studs and then we'll do the recess. <laughs> 